That ain't right. Good old Contraxia. I am Groot. How can being shot by a giant vacuum ray not be that bad? might who knows dog report item the rumbling rocket you see where that vent leads anything to get out of here we should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy this machinery there you go i've done my part yeah thanks in this hangar is causing my hair to stand on end. Oh, yeah! My first frisk! Wait a tick! So, any new ideas on what the oversized vacuum's actually doing, Contraxia? A few. None of them good. I still do not understand what could lead to all this. Some kind of mutiny! But it doesn't add up for me, either! Dog report item. The Assassin and I agree on something. nearby machinery can help. I wonder if we could have stopped this from the reactor room. Perhaps the nearby machinery can help. Nearby machinery can help. Drax, gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. I wonder how many other worlds are getting pummeled by one of them things. It is a discouraging thought, indeed. Ah, I see what you are thinking, Peter Quill. We can use the crane to grab a battery. Uh, right. Just like I planned. You think this is loud? Imagine being planet side. Contraxians were awful, but they don't deserve this. Report item. A strange device continues to do whatever it is doing. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. 
Just hope it does not cause an explosion. All right, come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained. By, By her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Can they fill? A lot, by the sound of it. Okay, group. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? Forget Raker. Our focus right now is finding Nikki. Your focus? My focus is not dying on this stupid ship. The dog wants us to find Centurion Corel. Right, so we're multitasking. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. So, how did you and Nikki get through here last time? I don't remember anything being in the way before. Just a lot of fire. So visor up already. Figure something out. Gamora, any chance you can help us here? I got this, Peter. One more time, Groot. Let's go find Corel and Nikki. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corel survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. What if only one is dead? Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met, and Corel's a warrior. I'd bet on both of them any day of the week. Okay, just don't forget who won our last bet, Quilt. Remember the quarantine zone? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Whoa, watch out! You okay? Groot says we should start thinking about exit plans. <laughs> The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki? I'm sorry, what? Are you feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. Does not look taken care of to me. Does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. I <sighs> Of course you would.
Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Peter Quill? Or perhaps you enjoy contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. Glorious! Ah, more death gas! Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. All I know is I'm not the one who quit the team. I quit because I care. I care too, man, okay? So maybe we both just have shitty ways of showing we care. Really shitty. Yeah, maybe. All yours, Gamora. Not a problem. You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Corel really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. Dog report item. The rumbling continues. Or contraxia. Find a dog report item. No, nothing dog report worthy. Still no signs of Nikki or Corral. In the face of a death sentence, the Tathias are taught to focus on what is happening. I'll keep that in mind.
grumbles more incessantly than a Catathian without breakfast. We really need to get you something to eat. Here, this is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are, right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Did Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter! The... the, the pirate? Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. What about just giving it a jolt? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Rocket, you got the body of a little girl. Can you fit in there? Try again, Quill. Ask him nicely, Peter. I'm concerned for Nikki's safety, okay? I'm worried she might be hurt or scared or... I don't know what. Can you please see if she's in there? See? Was that so hard? I don't see no kids. I wonder how many other worlds are getting pummeled by one of them things. It is a discouraging thought, indeed. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby-trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corel when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill! You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12, and Quill was with the child's mother 12 years ago. The math is irrefutable. Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's only they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. <laughs> 